Good evening and welcome to week seven of Girls Night Out. We got plenty of in-conference action on the hardwood. Tonight we start in the WBL. Path Wild Kittens sitting atop the conference standings at 8-3, hosting the Elida Lady Bulldogs, still searching for their first WBL victory. First quarter, Elida's Lily Seifert with the step-back jumper that goes in off the bank. Dogs up 2-0 early. But the Wild Kittens show why they're leading the WBLs. Faith Clark finds Kelsey Carlson, who dials it up and knocks it down from beyond the arc. Home team up one, and there would be more. Later in the quarter, Bath up three when Ann Oliver passes to Clark, who says double that as she buries in another triple. Bath out to an 8-3 lead. And when it's going right, shooting can be contagious as Oliver gets it from Clark, and the senior pulls up from long range, and she too hits nothing but nylon, make it 11-2. And then on the break, Claire Faust with the Euro step. She then regathers the miss and goes up strong for two. Bath wins big, 54-15. We have another unbeaten team in the WBL. The OG Lady Titans are eyeing their fourth conference win as they host St. Mary's in the third quarter. St. Mary's trailing 31-13. Sophia Maker goes underneath the basket for the lay-in. Lady Riders now trail by 16. Road team trying to add more. Off the block, Ella Jacobs recovers it and hits the short jumper. Jacobs makes it 35 to 17, but this one is all Titans. Katie Kaufman intercepts his pass, and the Malone commit will take it all the way to the other end for the bucket. Team high 13 for her as the Lady Titans leading by 21. OG now in transition. Olivia Grothaus bounces it to Carly Brinkman, and the junior gets the hoop and harm. Home team now leads 45-19, and OG keeps adding on. This time, Madison McKee putting up the shot, and it's good. Ottawa Glendorf wins 49-27. Over to the NWC, first place Crestview was just ranked as the top D4 team in Northwest District 4. Knights take on a 5-5 five five Bluffton team. That's one, two straight. But Crestview making an impressive opening statement. In transition, it's Casey Gregory kicking it out to her older sister, Kelly, with the triple. Knights leading by six. And just minutes later, Ellie Klein, the junior, jumps the pass for the steal, takes it all the way to the other end. Crestview scoring the first 17 of this game. Pirates have their work cut out for them. Macy shot from the seat of her pants, hits Ashley Fleece in the post. Bluffton trailing 19-6, but the Knights continue to pour it on. It's Klein again with the takeaway and... The 25-6 first quarter lead, Klein already has 12 points for the Knights. They get their 12th win of the season. They stay perfect in the NWC, 65-33. It's an NWC versus PCL battle between Lipsick and Columbus Grove. Starting off in the first, Giselle Perez grabs a rebound, and she gets the put back. That puts Lipsick up by three early. Now it's Perez sizing up her girl and working past the defense for the score. Lady Vikings go up 8-5. Moments later, Elise Fortman gets the pass, and the sophomore hangs three on the board. We got ourselves a tie ball game. And the second, Grove continues to show off their range. This time, Abby Steckschulte counting by threes, and the senior gives her team a six-point advantage. But the magic number tonight is 1,000. And when this free throw here, Lauren Ockmoody becomes the fastest Bulldog to reach the milestone and the seventh in Grove history. The Lady Dogs win this game 58 to 36. Wrapping up the NWC, Ada looking for their first conference win, and so is Alan East, but the Mustangs are undefeated out of the conference, 8-0 versus 0-2. Looking to change that tonight. They're dominant in the first quarter. Savannah Brooks from the top of the key with the triple try. Mustangs get out to an 11-0 lead. Ada looking to answer, though. Mariah King lays it in. Bulldogs trailing 13-4, but Alan East with an immediate response. This time it's Ella Miller for three. Home team would lead by 16 by the end of the first quarter. And into the second, Mustangs not letting up. How about Ryland Jones on the perimeter for another triple? And they'd make it back to back three balls. Brooks does it again. Mustangs score 11 times beyond the arc. The Mustangs win in a massive one here, 63-14. We head over to the nest where New Bremen, the Lady Cards, welcome the Coldwater Lady Cavs. Picking up the action in the third, Cards up 2016. Senior Abby Bornhorst connects on the mid-range J. Cards extend their lead to six. A few plays later, senior Becca Wennings grabs the board. She's able to fight it back up for the bucket. Cavs deficit cut to six, but Wennings Comes right back off the turnover. She goes the distance, and she takes it all the way to the hoop for the two. That cuts the deficit down to four. Ensuing moments with two minutes to go in the quarter. Coldwater swings the ball around to Michaela Ferks, and the freshman cashes in for the triple. Cardinals win a close one, 39-36 the final. The Minster Lady Wildcats travel to Mercer County for a MAC conference showdown against the St. Henry Lady Skins. Opening possession for St. Henry, Morgan Balmer drives and kicks it out to sophomore Alexis Busher, and she nets a three ball. St. Henry gets on the board first. But Addie Inskeep lowers her shoulder and hooks that one in. 
but Wildcats trailing by three. Minutes later, Bomber gets the feed inside, but comes up short. However, she follows up her own miss and gets the layup to go. Home team up three. Skins come right back. Molly Wendell picks that pass off, and she'll take it all the way to the other end for the easy finish. They're up by two. And in the closing seconds of the quarter, the Wildcats string along some passes, leading to a senior and a larger laying it in. As time expires, she puts that away as the Lady Wildcats win this one 43-38. Perry Lady Commodores looking to remain perfect in NWCC play, hosting the Harden Northern Polar Bears. Started the second half, Polar Bears down 15. However, Jenna Legg stops and pops in a jumper at the charity stripe, 34-21 Perry. Perry answers with good ball movement as Mary Hurston with the pass to Lexana Lee, who then finds Kalia Luster, who goes off the high glass for the bucket, lead up to 15. Lady Doors keep their foot on the gas as Luster drives in the lane and drops in the floater for two of her game-high 14. Late third, Perry now up 18, but Laney Thomas cuts into that with a runner that falls 41-25 now, but under a minute to go in the quarter. Carly Dalton there for the cleanup bucket. Lady Doors win 52-31 and move to 3-0 in conference play.